one of our photomultiplier mm -hmm. tubes. This is all vacuum. Can you take a picture of me with it for my mom? <laughs> <laughs> Near the top of a mountain in rural Mexico sits an unconventional telescope looking at the highest energy light from outer space. We paid a visit to learn more about this unique lab. Particle physicist Ibrahim oversees much of the site's day-to-day. -day. We met up with him to learn about what Hawk does and how it works. I'm Ibrahim Torres. I'm the site manager of Hawk. This is the biggest uh, gamma ray observatory in the world. Behind. Uh, this uh, altitude, the, the, the particles start uh, being absorbed by the atmosphere. So that's why we need to be close to at least 6,000 meters. Why don't the clouds block out the cosmic rays? These particles cannot see the clouds. That's one advantage of, of this kind of uh, technique. It, it doesn't matter. The particles cannot see the clouds. You can imagine that each of those tanks are like a pixel of camera that is taking 25,000 pictures per second of the sky. The Hawk Gamma Ray Observatory turns the idea of a telescope completely on its head. Hawk records the highest energy particles and light from outer space called cosmic and gamma rays. These rays could come from supernovas, galaxies with bright centers, or other crazy cosmic phenomena. The cosmic rays first hit the atmosphere, which sets off a chain reaction and turns them into a shower of lighter particles with less energy. Each tank contains nothing more than liquid water. The particles are traveling at nearly light speed through the atmosphere, but the speed of light in water is only around three quarters the speed of light in space. So when they hit the water, they create a cone-shaped flash of ultraviolet light. It's basically a sonic boom, but for light instead of sound. Sensors at the bottom of the tank can see the resulting flash and turn it into a signal for a computer. Hawk can determine what the cosmic ray was made out of, its energy, and where it came from by measuring flashes and combinations of flashes through the tanks. Alberto and Brenda have worked on Hawk since the beginning. They both were instrumental in getting the laboratory off the ground from its conception over a decade ago until now. It kind of grew out of a project that we had at Los Alamos National Lab. So we had all these ideas how to make a better detector, which involved going to higher altitude. Great advantages of these water tanks is that these are uh, modular. So you assemble a few, and then you can show that this is going to work. It allowed us to prove that this was actually a good place to build and then to get the funding for the full detector. Brenda took us to the field beside the experiment, which is dotted with new, smaller water tanks currently being added as part of an upgrade. There, we watched scientists install one of these tubes. So this is one of our photomultiplier tubes. It converts the photon to an electron. We're just now getting it operational. Awesome. All of the photomultiplier tubes are hooked up to computers in the central counting house. Every particle's flash comes with a timestamp. They combine all of the water tank data to determine cosmic rays' origins. Well, first let me just show you, this is the, the sky as we see it. With our detector, we can see a wide field of view. This is an animation that shows how our detector gets hit. The dots showing up, those are signals in our detector. So we can tell precisely where they actually come from. Which is awesome. Brenda showed me the computers that combine all of the signals from all of Hawk's tanks. This results in the data that scientists can actually use. So we have 1,200 photomultiplier tubes, and all those signals have to come into this one room. So that's each one of these wires represents one of the water containers? Yep. So the signals came in the other one side of the board, and now they come out as digital. We replicate this a bunch of times, we collect all the data, and then we send it to a bunch of computers. So if something crazy happens, this will already, four seconds later, this will already be ready to say, everybody point your telescopes here if you want to see the crazy thing that happened. Right. Scientists store the data on disk arrays, which they drive in beer coolers to Mexico City weekly. There, they load the data online and transfer to the U.S., then onwards to the rest of the world. The transfer can take up a quarter of the total bandwidth between the U.S. and Mexico at around a terabyte of data per day. Manuel grew up in Atzitzintla, close to the lab. He deals with the site's high altitude daily. Como tú sabes, a esta altura, la cantidad de oxígeno en el aire es menor. Entonces tienes que aprender a regular tu cuerpo, aprender a moverte y compensar esa falta de oxígeno. Eh, usualmente digo que cuando bajamos, 
Y yo digo que me siento algo así como Superman, porque como tu cuerpo compensa la cantidad de oxígeno necesaria, por alguna razón te sientes mejor físicamente. Es una zona rural y el 90% de las personas se dedican a la agricultura. Muy pequeño no tenía yo idea de que existían lugares como estos, pero aún así no me imaginaba yo este, estar en ellos. Bueno, mucha gente en el, en el país puede crecer, estudiar y trabajar en, en, en su lugar de origen. Y yo creo que soy de los afortunados que han hecho eso. Raúl oversees a national park that includes both the Sierra Negra and Mexico's tallest mountain, the nearby Pico de Orizaba. Nosotros estamos tratando de preservar la vida que hay dentro del planeta. POC es una infraestructura temporal. Eh, al término del proyecto se va a levantar todo y este va a quedar el espacio como estaba. Y eso fue un proceso de negociación que se ha llevado, que seguimos teniendo cómo vamos a, a, a poder eh, hacer que confluyan los intereses de la investigación con los intereses de conservación. Our planet is just a tiny speck in a grand cosmos full of violent explosions, spinning stars, and other unexplained mysteries. And if we ever hope to understand this vast home, sometimes it takes a few hundred vats of water on top of one of Mexico's tallest volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs>